What's going on? It's your boy Cater on a beautiful, beautiful day, my friends. So in this video today, I'm gonna be talking to you about how I took my score, my credit score, from a 490 to 720. Now, for those of you who's the first time you watching my video, what I love to do with my videos is not just share my results with you, but I like to share some strategy with you just in case if that's what you want to do, that you have a blueprint in your hand that you could do the same thing. So we're going to jump into the computer. I'm going to show you my results and we're going to build a strategy for you on how to do it. Now, I'm an entrepreneur, so I come from a background of building businesses, making money online, you know, stuff like that. So, if you're also interested in that type of stuff, this is from the mindset that I be coming from. See, a lot of people, they want to build their credit maybe to buy a house, to buy a car. In my world, those are called liabilities, and they always take credit away from you, specifically if you don't know how to create money, if you don't know how to create income. Now, as an entrepreneur, right, I have a strategy not only that's going to give you credit, but that's going to enable you to use other people's money to fund your lifestyle, right? So that's what I want to talk about today in this video, OPM and taking your credit from 400, 500 to 700, 720, 750, 850 because the strategy rocks. So I was able to do that last year. I was jumping to the computer. We'll talk about how you also can increase your credit following this proven strategy and then take your game to a whole next level. So let's jump into the computer. We'll talk about it a little bit more. So now here we are in the computer. I'm going to go ahead and log in into my Credit Karma account and I'm going to show you guys. And then, boom, today we are at 706. So this is good credit. So 706, my credit was at 496. So how did I do it and how can you do the same thing? Okay, now in the business world, when you have credit like this, you might go, hey, the average person say, hey, car, car, house, house, house. But I want to come from a different perspective. So when I started from 496 um, in three months, I took it for 553, 596. I'm going to share the strategy with you. And then boom, boom, boom. In about January right now, we're at 706. We're going to go to 850. And I'm going to share with you how to do it. Now, when you get cars, houses, you fix your credit to get cars, houses, these are called liabilities. They cannot make you more money. Now, in this video, I want to talk about something called OPM. So let me bring that up. So we're going to talk about the strategy. Okay, strategy to take your credit to strategy. So sorry, guys. My writing is not everything. It's not the best. But this is just to credit strategy. Okay. So to take your, your stuff to seven, 700 plus, check to see if we're still good. Okay. Credit strategy to 700 plus, man, <laughs> hopefully you watch this video because if you're just reading that, it will be crazy. All right. This is how the strategy goes. All right. So the strategy is that you built a skill set. Number one, it doesn't start with the credit. You need a skill set. Someone mentioned to me yesterday, hey, you could do that using your, your cell phone bill and other things, but I'd rather you doing it building a business, okay? That way you can build it a lot faster. Although you could do it with a cell phone bill and other things, but do this with a business, okay? Skill set. So you built your skill set, which is what I did. So I built my skill set on driving Facebook ads, traffic, um, doing affiliate marketing. If you want to know how to do these things, leave a comment down below. Let me know and I can hook you up with, you know, some of the affiliate offers. Like I use an affiliate offer called MCA, which they pay me every Friday. Um, if you want to see my MCA results, leave a comment down below. I can direct you to a video that shows you my results. So what I started doing. I, I built my skill set to get traffic, so I got a skill set 
So the skill set could be doing e-commerce. You could do affiliate marketing. Now, the goal is to be able to take the traffic and convert the money. So we're talking about every time I spent $1 into Facebook ad, I was getting $3 back. So what I start doing is a plan, coming up with a plan. Don't use credit to start a business, but use credit to scale your business, like take your business to the next level, okay? So now I came up with a plan on doing Facebook ads. So every time I spent a dollar, I was making $3, but I didn't have any, any enough money to scale it up, right? So what I did, I put $1,000 on a credit card. So what you want to do, you're going to go and get a, a secure credit card. So you want to take a secure credit card and then you're going to add the money that you was going to spend on your business, your advertising money, you know, um, MasterCard, Visa, MasterCard. You're going to add it on the secure credit card. So let's say you have the secure credit card. You have $1,000. You're going to put for your business. You set the $1,000 aside. Now you start with your own money first, okay, so that you can get to that level where every dollar you spend is making you $3 or $2 or $5 so that you can be in the profit mode. And once you're in the profit mode, now you put that $1,000 on a credit card. So let's say you have $1,000. You're going to do... Um, if you have a spouse, you can get them in and you can get two secure credit card, which is what I did. Put one on my spouse and one on me. So you do $500 on each. So your monthly expense must be $500 on those cards, right? So you're talking about 500 bucks on each that you have to do monthly. The thing with credit, you want to keep it below 30% before the reporting date. So before they go ahead and report my credit. So what I do, my cards, I keep them at a low, at a, um, you keep your card at a low spending ratio of less than 30%. So you want to owe on there, if it's $500, 30% of $500, you're looking at um, 150 bucks. So you want to keep 150 bucks as how much you owe them, not anything higher. So 25%, I'll say to be safe because it'll put you in the green. So let me show it to you where you can understand it real good. I'm gonna go ahead and show you the credit impact. So you can see that with that, see that? So it would be like this one, I use over 32%, which is why it's not 740. So once I have everything in the green like this one, of a thousand, I use 200, it will grow to that level. So that's what you want to focus on into doing there. Okay. And then what you want to start doing now is to start buying whatever for your business with that money, with your credit. And then now you pay it before the month. And then boom, what's going to start happening, you're going to start seeing your credit start going up like it did to like you know, like 20 points, then 50 points. And it's going to happen real fast once you start doing that. It all depends, you know, what you have on your credit. You know, hopefully you don't have too much craziness that you have to take off. And, you know, if you have craziness that you have to take off, take these things off first, and then you can utilize the strategy and get yourself to 700 plus credit. That's the strategy. OPM. Okay. OPM is the strategy. Now, 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 once you have that type of credit, what's going to start happening, you're going to have credit cards just throw cards at you. And now you can start using them to scale your business. Not build a business, scale a business. So you already find something that's working. Let's say you're doing MCA. Now you have this $10,000 credit card. Now, if every time you spend $1, it's making you $3 one to three ratio. So now if you have $10,000, it's gonna make you $30,000. Now you can pay the credit card by the $10,000 and now you keep the $10,000. Let's say you pay Facebook $10,000 for ads, now you make $10,000 yourself off that money and you still got the credit card money boosting up your credit. Now this is called smart investment, not using the credit card to go buy a car or buy a house, which is not making you any money, which is liability. So this is where you know, smart people, they use credit to make, to build wealth, you know, okay? Poor people, 
use credit to acquire liabilities. You know, people say, let me fix my credit so I can get a house. Oh, let me fix my credit so I can get a car. They're getting liability. And if you want to make the difference, if you want to play that game, then you want to start thinking, how can you use other people's money, which is those credit money, to build wealth for yourself systematically so that you can take your game to the next level. Let me know if you have, um, if this stuff is helpful to you. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. And then let me jump in and show you what type of cards you're going to start getting approved for. So what you want to do, right, you want to log in, create a credit karma account. They're going to give you all the secure credit card, okay? Even though if your credit is trash, like mine was 400, like I told you, 490, you know, before I started utilizing this. So I get a secure credit card. Most of them will be like $200 minimum deposit. Like I said, if you're doing $1,000, you can split it into two, one for you, one for your spouse, so that you guys can report under each other. So you want to sign them so after the credit card is in you start utilizing so if you get a thousand dollar credit card so now you start winning one by three ratio so you go through the credit card if the limit is a thousand dollars go through it like three four five times in a month because remember you have a business that's creating cash flow so you you do your advertising you go through it that's why it starts with skill set once you get the skill set to turn one dollar into three dollars boom so now you go through it two or three times. So the amount of time that it will take the average person in a month to go through and pay their credit card, you're doing that three, four, five times in a month. So it'll take the person five months to get through the amount of utilization ratio that you're going through and um, at the end of the month. So what's going to happen now, once you start, your credit start going up now, now this is where you're going to play the game. So you're going to come here. You, let's look at the, for the credit card right now. They're going to give you you know, very good approval. Now this is where it's gonna get real fun. Very good approval, like on all of these. Capital One, very good approval. So even if I look at um, um, the other one with low interest or cash back or all of that, or airline, see? Good approval for these things. So now you're gonna start having them throwing cards at you, throwing money at you because you've been doing this strategy. Not only it takes your business to the next level, it takes your credit to the next level. And now you can get air. You hear people talking about traveling for free? Yeah, you can get mileage and all that stuff. You can get a bunch of cards. And now once you have a strategy that's working, you can literally take that money, other people's money, blow up your business and then pay it back so you literally using other people's money to fund your business without having to go get a loan without having and build your credit to the next level and now if you want to get a car do that you want to get a house do that then but it all starts with skill set see once you have the skill set now you could do all this stuff that i'm teaching you here taking your credit to 800 plus 700 plus and that's how you do it. So you want to, once you have these two cards, you want to um, add your spouse or in, uh, any other people, you know, you add them as the authorized user under your card and then you add yourself under their card. So now you have two cards that's reporting under you and her so both of you can grow together. Guys, I hope this stuff makes sense to you. That's the strategy to take your business to the next level and take your credit to the next level. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Give it a like, come on now. This stuff makes a lot of sense and share it with, with somebody. i show you my results. Share it with somebody who's trying to take their credit to the next level. And if you have any other entrepreneur friends, Subscribe to the channel. Let me know what you think in the comment down below. That was your boy, Cater, and I'll see you guys later. Let's go. You're going through some hard times.